Hi, Church. Welcome back to this week's Lent devotional. For this week's episode, I want to take you through a prayer that centers on the act and the work of forgiveness. Lent is a season which is an invitation to kill off the things in our life that are preventing us from experiencing rebirth and resurrection. And when I think of unforgiveness, harboring hatred, harboring betrayal, harboring past wounds, those are the types of things that can really ground us from taking off and growing into the person that we are called to be. So let's pray through this prayer together and allow it to sink into our lives and to open ourselves up to the work of God within and to see how he can bring healing to us. Let's pray through it now. God, it is our nature to keep record of wrongs. It is your nature to forgive. We tend to let wounds fester. You offer light, air, and healing. We tend to get stuck in bitterness and pain. You embody freedom. Come now into the places where our hearts have been wounded, where we have been betrayed or abandoned, or disrespected, or overlooked, or kicked while we're down, or stolen from, or slandered, or misunderstood. Come now into the dark parts of us that want revenge, that want to grind axes, that want our enemies to suffer, that want to keep a list of grievances, that want to prove how strong we are, that want to defend ourselves. Replace our pride and bitterness with superhuman love. This is hard work for us, becoming like you, turning the other cheek, making ourselves vulnerable. It is why we need you so much because we are weak. We need you to move mountains for us, mountains of pain and resentment, strength, wholeness, and redemption, life, peace, and resurrection are in forgiveness. And in forgiving, we are forgiven. Amen. If you are in the journey of forgiveness, my encouragement to you is to pray through this prayer every single day as an opportunity to be formed in the way of forgiveness. It is only through regular habitual practice that our mind and our heart and our being gets oriented towards that which we want to become. So all of you, grace and peace to you on this continued Lenten journey. And next week is Holy Week. I'm thrilled for that. God bless.